doesn't go bad, I just get stuck. So I need, I need this outlet where I can just walk away and go do something that takes a, a completely different part of my brain to just zone out. And by the time I come back, I go, oh, that's not as bad as I thought, you know? I, I'm really into, like, sort of stories of, like, people's lives. You know, I love, like, Bukowski, I love Kerouac, I love, you know, the Beat Generation, John Fonte, kind of people that lived life until, like, a, a realistic, they give a realistic account of how they were feeling, you know? Like, and not a lot of books do that. So if I come across those, those, those go into my library. I'd say some of my best art comes out when I'm sad. Probably just being more emotionally connected at that point, you know. Um, and then I'll tend to listen to sadder music and kind of, my, my wife calls it sad bastard, you know. <laughs> but it, it's very much what it is. But I can really just knock out work at that time. It just flows right through. I'm not thinking about it, you know. So I'll start in the studio first thing in the morning and I put on music and, and I'll just sort of mess around and dabble with things and, and a lot of times I can hear like a song and I can paint a painting that would accompany the song, you know, so music plays a huge part in my inspirational process. Some artists say, oh, you know, today I've painted 14 hours. I, I'm not that person. I cannot paint 14 hours. And a lot of times what I do is, you know, I paint for six hours and then I, I play pool for about four hours. And sometimes I'll come back and paint again afterwards. But if I go straight through, it's, I'm anti-productive. When I'm insecure about something, what I do, I have flat files. I take the piece, I stick it in the flat file, and I shut it. And I come back to it a month later. And then I go through the pile, I look at all the pieces, and I say, wow, these really didn't work. And then I'll find one that, oh my gosh, this is way better than I thought. Oh, I like this one. You know, you have to have fresh eyes. And if you try to analyze your own work, you'll only drive yourself crazy. They're not people, they're still animals, but they're, they have human characteristics, you know. And I, like, even with my cats, they're, they're so wise, and I look at them, and I've always kind of considered them my equal. And I have, I've considered all animals my equal. That's why, probably why I'm a vegetarian, too. I love the soul. I can look in their eyes and they, they all have a soul and they're just, you know, they eat and they go to sleep and that's it. They're just, they're just living. I like that.